it caught my eye, you know, the way every move, every calculated step. They just give it a, a swift kick and poof, it's straight in there. Go down the boardwalk, you see everything happening out there. You see bodybuilding, basketball, skating, surfing. Why not stop? My name is Joanna Rosas. I am a soccer coach, soccer player, soccer, everything. <laughs> I came to the U.S. when I was three years old. I thought my dad was my uncle. I used to call him uncle for, I think, the first couple years of my life when I met him. I knew I was different because my parents were always like, don't do anything bad in school just so we wouldn't get deported or something. I don't know, it was always a fear we had. My dad would make us fall asleep in the car if there was a cop near us so that he wouldn't get pulled over. I think soccer, that was my way of just being myself and being able to fit in with the football community. My name is Gerardo Floreseo. I really only have time for two things, homework and soccer. Our family's kind of around soccer, that's what we do. We really don't do anything else, so. Oh yeah, my sister does like violin and stuff, and tennis. Pretty much all my family's contributed to our family, I guess, tradition or family business. I guess. <laughs> that sounds about right. Yeah. I don't know about a business, but, but we'll see. family thing. Yeah. I think my role there is to support them in any way I can. And we get the greatest joy to see them on the page, to see them, you know. And maybe I shouldn't say it in camera, but where I've called off sick because we, we want to take them to a soccer tournament or things that they do with BBFC. So that one, don't, don't take it to my boss because they're going to say, I thought you were sick. <laughs> Bottom of your foot is called. Yeah. What? Bottom. Good. It is called the bottom. What else? Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! There we go. You can score goals and you can get the satisfaction if you win. 
Or if you lose, it'll just learn from what you do. Life-saving moments where you save the whole team. Like I think those moments, for sure, you're like they stick with you. You know, you never forget those moments. Started the process of the green card, and then in 2021, I received my green card. Finally, after 23 years, I went back to. Mexico, and I was very nervous about that part of, of am I going to feel like an outsider? I can't even explain the feeling of finally being out there with them and hugging my great grandmother, who is 94. So welcoming. My family is so welcoming, and I don't think they've ever even seen me touch a soccer ball. That's a dream of mine to go play in front of them and, and show them what their granddaughter can do, you know? <laughs> Hi, Royce. Daddy, are you yeah. saw, did you saw me fast? I saw you. You the scooter? Yeah. How do you get to be so fast? You got the muscles? Show them the muscles. Show them the muscles. No? Yeah. There we go. There we go. That's right. <laughs> Say you love your city, you love your community. It's huge. It goes a lot to like the rest of your life. You know, it says a lot like, well, this is where I'm from. This is where I'm from, and this is why I'm like so, somewhat like this. Well, they're genuine, so it's easy to to go over there and be a part of like the VBFC welcoming, they're inviting, they're real, so that helps a lot, you know. Now it's much bigger than what it was when I played. When I played, we got teased. Being a black kid playing soccer was not in <laughs> at all. Being able to see them at the high school, being able to interact with them on the beach, you know makes it more appealing and more people would want to do it because they see them doing it and they see them having a good time doing it. So that helps a lot. It's dope. Because you know how it is, man. Street soccer has that, like, you get to express yourself with all the nice moves and very fast pace. And that's how Venice Beach is. It's very fast paced. Now it's like you get to see them. And, and that's good that BBFC does this for the community. So you'd be like, Sunday comes around, 4 o'clock, oh, let's go. People doing art, you know, people playing sports, people doing something, you know, and they're, they're trying to express themselves. Empanadas, empanadas, freshly baked. If you don't like them, you don't pay. Money back guarantee, folks. And then there's like a cafe of noises. There's music, you have dancing. It's just the place where everybody can do whatever they want. Really, nobody cares what you're doing. Just do what you want to do and have fun. You have 
the liberty of, of doing whatever you want. Do what we did in the beginning when we first started playing soccer, you know, of, of just falling in love with it and having fun with it. I think football in the U.S., it's a business. I think it's how many teams can we get? How many players can we get on this team? A club like Venice Beach, you know, just really care about the kids and their growth and developing their skills instead of just, you don't have the money, you can't come. You know, it's just pick up. Like, anyone can come. Why did y'all get the name football? Oh, I guess. I guess so.